<clears throat> hey y'all, I have missed you so much and um, for these past, I think I've been gone for two months I think or maybe three months. I uh, really have been um, doing some cleansing. Uh, I really have missed you. Don't think I forgot about you. I have not. Um, but today I want to talk about hiding <clears throat> your gift. Uh, I don't see why, if God gave you a gift, why in, in, in God's name would you hide it? Now, some people will say, oh, I'm hiding it because... Uh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how far it's going to take me. Uh, and, um, I don't know how, where to start. Just start. Just start. Stop hiding the gift that God has given you. Just start the gift. If you know you want to start a business, if you know you're supposed to write that book, if you know you're supposed to um, start that um, community outreach center, if you know you're supposed to start that foundation, do it. Do it. The longer you wait, the harder it is to get to it. Um, <clears throat> Joel Osteen was talking, and uh, he was talking about uh, the most wealthiest place in the in in in, in the world, and um, people were saying, "Well, maybe it's Africa because they have so much fortune and diamonds there, and maybe it's another place. I forgot the place he named, but maybe it's." You know, another place you have so much oil and all that. But really, the most wealthiest place in the world is the grave site. Mm. The most wealthiest place in the world is the grave site. Because there are millions of ideas and billionaires who never even got the chance to, um, to shoot their gift off. Never got the chance. Never got the chance. It's the, the most wealthiest place is the gravesite because they never got the chance to explore their gift. I'm what I'm doing now. I'm this is my gift. This is what I'm. This is what I'm known for. This is what I'm. This is what I do. This is my gift. This is my gift. Stop hiding the gift that God called you. T.D. Jakes said. I probably said this before. T.D. Jakes said, "I would hate to die and not do what God sent me here to do." I would hate to die and not do what God sent me here to do. This is your gift. Your gift is, is that thing that you do the best at with the least effort. I've said that before. Stop hiding your gift. Go out and do it. Even if you're scared, do it scared. I can promise you. And, you, and it doesn't matter how big your gift is. Your, your, how big your gift is Your gift will make room for you Your gift will make room for you <clears throat> Wow man I mean I I can only imagine How many people are out here Who have been, been in their minds And have books that uh, Haven't been written yet Wow I can only imagine Stop hiding your gift Promote your gift Whatever your gift may be, go out and do it. Stop hiding it. The longer you wait, it's, it's, the longer you wait, you, by the time, it'll be too late. By the time you even start, it'll be too late. Stop hiding your gift. Because you just might change somebody's life. You just might change somebody's life with your gift. Um... um I remember this teacher saying um, to me, she said that, she said, you have something that people want. Give it to them. We all have something to offer to, to this world. We all have something. If you think that you are here just to make a job, just to make a penny, or just to, just to, um, to make money and to live good, no, you, why, the, you, we're not here for that. We're not here for that. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has a purpose. You are here for a reason. You have something. This is what the teacher told me. I got I to gotta say it right. You have something that somebody wants. That they need to change their life. And you will never know. Or you will never know the impact you make on somebody. If you always take it back. Or you, you, or, or you um, get scared when the moment comes. 
when that time comes to show your gift, you get scared and you back out. You, you have, come on, man. You got something that people want. Each and every one of us. Each and every one of us has something that people want and somebody needs. Somebody needs to hear you say, I love you. Somebody needs that, that mentor program. Somebody needs that book that will change their life. Somebody needs that. And if you don't do it, how would they feel? Teachers have purpose. Mothers have purpose. Fathers have purpose. Friends have purpose. Don't hide your gift. I love you. Happy, happy Sunday. I hope and pray that this blesses you. And uh, go with love. Thank you so much. Please share. Share this video. Like and, and uh, subscribe on YouTube. Yes, I am doing YouTube now. I just started, so I'm a rookie. Uh, but like and, like and share. Share this video. This video will bless somebody. I know it will. Um, I love you guys. All right. Bye-bye.